Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I've been away for a while. I've uh, been rather ill. I've also been rather busy playing with my new PC, but we are back for another episode on the channel. So in today's episode, we are going to build one of these. This is an Arduino on a breadboard. What we have here is an 80 mega 328 chip, a 16 megahertz crystal, some 22 pico farad capacitors, some 100 nanofarad capacitors, a couple of resistors, an LED, we've got the breadboard itself, and we've also got one of these USB to serial programming boards. And to power it, we have one of these five volt breadboard power supplies. Before I show you how to build this, let's head over to the computer and we'll check out the schematic. Okay, here's a little schematic I drew up on EZDA.com. So if we start in the top left, we've got our DC power in. This is the uh, power supply to the breadboard. And then we've got the USB to uh, serial interface. And this has six pins, a reset pin, RX to TX, TX to RX, 5 volts ground, and a 3.3 volt pin, which we don't use. Now the RX pin connects to the TX pin on the uh, microcontroller, which is pin free. And the TX pin on the programmer connects to the RX pin on the microcontroller, which is pin two. So uh, if this circuit doesn't work, try uh, swapping around these wires because uh, you may have them the wrong way around. Okay, so starting at the top, we've got our five volts and we've got a 10K resistor between the reset pin and five volts. And then the uh, reset pin on the programmer goes through a 100 nanofarad capacitor to pin one on the microcontroller. Then on pins nine and 10, we have our 16 megahertz crystal with two 22 picofarad capacitors. And on pins seven and 20, we have them connected to VCC, five volts, and we have a 100 nanofarad capacitor on those pins to ground. And also on pin 21, I have a 100 nanofarad capacitor going to ground. And on pins 8 and 22, we have our grounds. By the way, this is a uh, little diagram of the 80 mega 328. So uh, you can consult this if you need to. Okay, and on pin 19, we have a resistor going through a LED to ground. So I think I'm going to add a second LED. So let's duplicate this. Copy, paste. And let's copy the LED. Paste that. Just move these out of the way. And let's add a ground. There we go. And add some wire. And there we are. That is the schematic for this circuit. Okay, so we are now ready to build the circuit. So the first component I'm going to place is the 80 mega chip. So if we can get a close up of that. So uh, I got this chip from a seller called ATLX on eBay, and he sells these packs of 80 mega chips and they come with the bootloader installed which is essential if you want to program this chip and yeah as you can see it comes with the uh, 80 meg chip a uh, 28 pin uh, socket dip socket comes with a 16 megahertz crystal and two 22 pico farad capacitors 
okay so that just slots in there like so there we go okay now we want to connect it up to the power so pins 7 and 20 connect to VCC so let's take a look one two three four five six seven there we go so that connects up to the 5 volts and pin 20 so that's 15 16 17 18 19 20 There we go, now we want to connect our grounds, which are pins 8 and 22. So there's pin 8. Just connect that to ground. And pins 22. Twenty-two. There we go. Okay, so on pin twenty-one, we need to connect a one hundred nanofarad capacitor to ground. So that's uh, pin twenty-one, which is this one here. There we go. And then we want a one hundred nanofarad capacitor as close to the. Uh, VCC pin as we can get it. So let's connect that here. There we are. Now on pin 19 we connect a 1k resistor. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There we go. And then we connect the blue LED to ground. Now on pins nine and 10, we connect the crystal. This is a 16 megahertz crystal. And then we connect the 22 picofarad capacitors. These are very small ceramic capacitors and they go to ground from the uh, pins of the uh, crystal. Connect those like so. There we are. Now we need to connect a 10K resistor from pin one, which is a reset pin, to VCC. There we are. Then we connect a 100 nanofarad capacitor as close to the uh, VCC pin on this side. So uh, let's connect it here. There we are like so. Now we'll connect up the programming board. You can get these very cheap on eBay. So that goes in there like so. So now we need to connect up pins two and three, which is the TX and RX. So RX on the programming board connects to TX on the uh, microcontroller which is pin 3 and then we connect TX on the programming board to RX on the microcontroller. 
which is pin two. And now we connect the reset pin on the microcontroller to the reset pin on the programming board. So that's pin one to this pin here. I think that's right, yep. And now we connect up the five volts to the five volts on the programming board. like so and finally our ground and that is this last pin here like so and uh, just to keep the voltage stable I'm going to uh, insert a 100 microfarad capacitor electrolytic capacitor just across the supply so negative goes to negative and positive to positive and there we are okay let's get our 9 volt battery got a 9 volt battery going into a barrel jack plug and this just connects to the power supply on the breadboard and hopefully if we press the power button, this LED should light. There we go, perfect. That is awesome. Okay, so there's only one last thing to do now, and that is to program the board. By the way, off camera, I added this second resistor. It's a 1K resistor and a red LED. Okay, we are now ready to program the Arduino. First, we need to declare our pins. So I'm going to set two integers. So I'm going to call the first one LED1. I'm going to set that to digital pin 12. And LED2, which is digital pin 13. Now we need to uh, set up our pins as outputs. So pin mode, LED1 output, and pin mode, LED2 output. Okay, now for the main loop. So I'm going to set LED1 as high. Then I'm going to delay for one second. Then I'm going to turn it off. Then I'm going to turn on the other LED, LED2, I'm going to set that as high. Then I'm going to wait one second. Then I'm going to turn off the LED and that cycle repeats. Okay, let's just check we've got everything uh, where it should be. So uh, LED1, LED2, yep, go away. LED1, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we've set our board as Arduino Uno, and I'm using uh, COM3, my serial port. Okay, let's upload. And there we go. Look at that. The two LEDs are flashing on and off. 
Right. Try and get a close up of that. And that is how you build an Arduino on a breadboard. So thanks for watching, guys. Next episode, we'll be messing about with some lasers. So uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, thanks for watching. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want. And I'll see you next one. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Chris here with a quick addendum. Uh, if you're having trouble uploading your sketch to your Arduino, you uh, may need to install the driver for your programmer board. So in my case, it's the CP210X. So uh, I just go to this website. I'll uh, put the link in the description. And I uh, scroll down and click Universal Windows Driver. Extract that file to uh, a folder uh, on your hard drive. Then simply go to Device Manager. And click Add Drivers. And uh, select the folder. And then it should install the correct driver for your uh, programmer board.